I'm fine. Don't worry. Let's investigate the three suspects next. Florence should be nearby. And we should be able to find Thierry and Uncle Marcel in the city. I'll get myself together on the way. So please don't worry. Greetings, boss. How may I be of assistance today? I'm sure you've heard about what happened at the Opera House. Someone got turned into what? Yeah, I've heard. With something that dramatic, I'm sure journalists will milk it for all it's worth. And it'll be all the talk for the next several weeks. It also reminded me, on the day that the incident happened with my father, after my partner here put the dots together for me, I think... Can you do me a favor and try to recall what happened that night? Hmm... Let me think. Mr. Callis was feeling pretty upbeat that day. So he was... After that, he told us that he wanted to go get some fresh air. So we let him go without thinking much of it. Who knew that we would hear two gunshots ring out right after? My first reaction was that Mr. Callis's life was in danger. So I grabbed my holster and made a mad dash toward the scene. But when I got there, it was already too late. Mr. Callis was standing over a dead body with a gun in his hands. All we could do was look back and forth at each other, not knowing what to say. So you also remember two gunshots then? Indeed. The guard said that the first shot didn't hit anyone, while the second killed Jacques. But I've never really bought that explanation. Reason being, Mr. Callis had left his gun on the table. I even made sure to confirm that before running to the scene. But according to the guards, that doesn't mean he couldn't have had other guns on his person. About the clothes left at the scene that you mentioned, do you think there was a third person there who was turned into water? At least from our perspective, my father had no reason to kill. So he would also have no reason to bring an extra gun with him. The gun he was holding probably belonged to Jacques. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, but hold on. If that's what had happened, he didn't even want to face the Oratrice machine. And chose instead to... Did he lose all faith in the courts? After seeing... Mm, about that. Malus told me a thing or two. I'll tell you everything. What... I understand. Th and if I may just say one more thing. The whole... Callus the unfaithful epithet. Many people have laughed at me for still calling him, but it was Mr. Callus's trust that no matter what others might say. Don't worry. I will. You and all our other comrades at the Spina deserve to know the truth as well. It's me. Oh, now, what? Oh, so you've got... Oh, okay. Hey, I'm also... Are you sure there isn't a little bit of truth in that? Under normal circumstances... <laughs> I mean, where I work is... Callus did a fantastic job running the town. Buildings... It would be next to impossible for me to find... <sighs> anyway, enough chit-chat. Ah, uh, yes. These two are my partners. What happened at the Opera House made us realize that Linny's case, and my father's, may be related- Ah, I get it. You think there might be more to the case now. If you want to go through the original files from your father's- That'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, actually, I have another question. Of course. Without them, I couldn't possibly handle Paul. Why do you ask? We definitely can't use them to forcefully get more evidence for- Well, you see, just recently, we were attacked. So, <laughs> if you hypothetically wanted to do something against me, all you would need to do was get rid of the Mecha serial numbers and. <laughs> then you think too highly of my abilities. Dis if I had to make an analogy, when you order a dish, the chef will make it for you. 
You can ask the chef to cook, but if you try to make unreasonable demands, the chef would just think you're out of your mind and ignore you. Removing a serial number is also not as easy as you might think. There are- So I can promise you, those mecha were definitely private. They're certainly not cheap. So, whoever their owner is must be- Oh, <laughs> then you're officially in the clear, Thierry. Oh, well, thank you for the vote of comp. Jokes aside, I'd like to wish you all... I'll be staying in the city for a... Hello. How may I help you? I'm here to see Marcel. Could you please let him know? Sure. I will let him know. Ah, Navia. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not as young as I used to be, so my legs are giving out a bit. Oh, it's all right, Uncle Marcel. There's no need to stress. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about what happened in the Opera House. I'm sure you saw everything too, right? Yes, uh, I've never seen anything so strange. Oh, you were at the opera- That's right. I went there with Navia to see the magic show. I also witnessed your marvelous sleuth to beat the Hydro Archon at her own game on her own turf. I can already imagine everyone in Fontaine- Oh, Paimon doesn't want to become the talk of drunkards. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. It's just how Fontaine is as a nation. Uncle Marcel, you've also noticed that other thing, right? The yes. I was reminded of your father's case right away. Exactly. I, I still don't have much solid proof, but I can sense that the other side has already begun to act. Oh, and what makes you say that? We were attacked on Araneus by some unnumbered Gardamax. And there was also an attempt to get me to drink water from the Primordials. If not for the vigilance of my partner, I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you. Aw, oh, you're giving us too much credit. What? Alas, it seems things are heating up again. The peace, but rest assured, Navia, Poisson will always remain a safe haven for you. If anyone dares to lay their hands on you there, the Confrérie of Cabriere... Thank you, Uncle Marcel. But I don't intend to go into hiding. I'm... Do you have any new thoughts on my father's case? Ah, <sighs> about that. Sorry, my age is kept. The confrere was responsible for that banquet, so I was... Then I heard the sound of a gunshot. Oh, it's okay. No need to push yourself. Sounds good. Just let me know. All my wealth comes from Callus's patronage and support. I'll spend however much...
doing maintenance on this, uh, statue. We've talked to all three suspects. None of them sounded particularly suspicious. Mm, I, I suppose that's to be expected, though. If a single conversation's all that's needed to find them out, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. Anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. Hmm. But where should we start? Ah, oh, you're right! Flora mentioned that Callus probably only ended up with the gun because of certain... According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that... Hmm. If I had to guess, he probably received an order from the synth... So, Jacques fired the first shot? Oh? And why is that? Oh, that's a good point. Jacques probably already knew that he was just being used as a tool... Huh. So, what would make more sense from his perspective would be to turn his back on the order and seek protection from... Hmm, makes sense. But without evidence, that's still just a theory. Beside Jock, the attack from the Gardamex has been bothering me quite a bit. It's obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the Primordial Seawater. Do you think he knew, even then, that we'd follow this? Given everything that's happened since... Uh, but who among the three suspects would have the ability to control privately owned Gardamex? Uncle Marcel? Uh, hmm. My f and with funds from the Contrarie, he could also afford a large number of Gardamex. Still really hard for me to imagine, though. After all, Uncle Marcel has been around since I was just a child. Also, wouldn't this mean he has been spending a whole lot of mora and energy to fight? Flora? Uh, it is true that he but. As Spina di Rosula's advisor, his work mo- So you're saying he's too broke to afford a mecha army? Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group. Thierry, you say? Huh. It is possible that he's figured out a way to convert the Gardamex for personal use. But I didn't feel like he was lying when he was talking to us about the mecha. Yeah. Had he actually tampered with the mecha, we'd be able to prove it with us. If the mecha were taken from the guards, it should be pretty easy to find out when and how that <sighs> Who could it be? You know, if you think everything through, Uncle Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. Could we be missing other suspects? Malus didn't know about the people. <sighs> Malus has always been very reliable, and his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair and well considered. When he laid out his case for the three, the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as the suspect is knowledgeable about the Spina's internal affairs has the means to dispatch Mecha to assassinate us. <sighs> Even if I don't want to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back. Well, we still have another trump card on top of all the theorizing and speculating. Yes, Malus did say that charging straight in there would be extremely risky. We need far more solid proof, but- Navia, here you are. Oh, I have been looking- Huh? Aren't you the guy from the guard? Yeah, news came from Araneus just after you left. Wasn't that place built specifically for holding trials? What's so newsworthy about this? I know, I know. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Fatui Harbinger called Tart. What? Is that so- Yeah, we know him. Well, he's been accused of being the true culprit. Wait, how? None of our investigations have had anything- That's what I thought was strange about it, so I came to- If the charge against him stands, then it'll be next to impossible to get the guards to- Right, because they'll- Yeah, 
and it'll be a lot hard. Hmm. I understand. Uh, um... Huh? Split up? What do you mean? <laughs> Just as expected of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the co You're right. This is our best opportunity. <laughs> I won't have any chance of making that charge stick, though, unless we find more evidence. It'll be up to- We'll help you! Just like you helped us in Lenny's trial! Demoiselle, please allow us to accompany you. I'm ready. Ah, oh, Malou, Silver! When did you- We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson. It's our hope that you're confident- <laughs> Thank you so much. Then, we'll see you then! Now that Navia has set out for Erinias, we should also get going. The location has already been marked on the map, so let's head over. Huh. According to Malus's info, the synth production base is underwater. It. Huh. So this is the entrance that leads to the synth production base. It sure doesn't seem out of the ordinary at all. Ah, you're right. And Navia's probably arguing. It would appear that I must repeat my question again. Do you accept the charge that you are the true cult? To be perfectly honest. I don't understand your country's complicated court system, or- However, I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a- In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that- I've gotta admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've- When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Hey! Don't you understand? You're currently the- Oh? Sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture. Then why don't you duel me too? I'm the kind of student that. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going. 
poorly. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal. <laughs> that case had nothing to do with him. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Why is she interjecting again? <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harb. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. I only told. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this? <sighs> we can put the discussion aside for now. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial... And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent... Oh, a young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to... You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Now then, Miss Navia, who is the person you would... That person is... <laughs> Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere! Huh? What Confrérie? Never heard of them in my life! I've heard of them, but weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister or- Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, that charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. Committing, and if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be tra- Yes, I do. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia, members of the guards, please contact Miss... Mr. Marcel, you will not require an attorney. Is that... Ah, apologies, sir. It all just happens so quick. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding. Very well. In that case, since... I would like to take everyone back to three years ago. To the case... Only through elucidating what really happened in that case, can we connect... Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed you? Come on, <laughs> why would I do that? Callus was... If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone... I... Uh, I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that... I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet at... During the banquet, all attending... When the guests arrived at the scene, the guard's investigation did not... The suspect did not dispute this... Callus was defeated by champ... These are the known facts of... The one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. And, uh, in truth, after that, the true culprit turned... Uh, thank you for the summary, Your Honor. However, we should read... The testimony of the victim's family confirms that Jacques had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he said however in the end he reconsidered and it's unfortunately for Jacques the true <sighs> this assassin first shot Jacques then turned to shoot Callus only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him was found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a but now it is clear that the clothes were proof that there was a third person at the scene. Since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use Realizing this, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques's murder. This is the true So that
That's what happened. Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as water from the primordial... What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You sh Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, one, do you have the evidence to... <sighs> I'm afraid... Boo! <laughs> I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect it. We should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that... That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nivellet. <sighs> Why do I feel like Farina's acting Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself? Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is it, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a- I thought about this too, and the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things the dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret for the troop. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he, at that time, Spina di Rosula was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target. Boss once told me that the Moiselle had already been selected as the... What? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in- Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict- Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice? But by staying silent, we retained the ability to deter our opponents and continue- I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as- And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do- So, you mean to say, your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. Do you have any proof? Of course. All you need is to ask- uh, I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Um, so, during the duel, did you believe that Kala- <sighs> Yes. As a champion duelist, I fought many battles and taken a countless number of dis- In my line of work, I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some- Just one look and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live, or if they're- I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave- <gasps> Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearance. Right? What she said was fascinating, but- Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearance? Of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connect- In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Cal- And, at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at- The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they coincidentally, Marcel attended both the bank. So that's why you suspected me. <sighs> I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentiment. No need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was. On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the time? Uh. Know what she can say to that. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects. Alas. Who won't feel at least a little hurt by it? But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think- Do you know what the biggest flaw- I suppose you're gonna tell me- It's timing. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap- In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson. But the disappearances began before- uh, I do apologize, demoiselle. This- No. It's not your fault. Is there anything else you'd like to say? You can also take a look at my border entry records, 
or ask my friend. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the uns- uh, Seems like she got the wrong guy. At this rate, Nabia will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting, but aren't you going against all of his wishes and- He wished for you to become more rational, collected, once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings, and to stop rushing headlong into things. This isn't just about me. And in the biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability The people whose families were destroyed by synth abuse. Many people's images are flashing book. And whose image is it a man named Vash- huh. <sighs> Oh, so you do know that name. I'm nearly surprised you'd- su I was waiting for you to- Right here, right now. Go as well. Umbrella warfare, I guess. Ah. Oh. We need to go up, but Paimon doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up.
The water level is rising. Now we can swim to the top. But this is still a ways away from where we need to go. Right here, right now. Umbrella warfare, I guess. <laughs> Emerge right here. Uh -uh. Feeling lucky? Fellow uh. warfare, I guess.
After all that, we finally made it to the innermost sanctum. Though, as expected, the mastermind isn't here. Ah, that's right. Then let's hurry. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for re Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the primordial sea. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Team <coughs> Sorry, Traveler. Paimon will try her best. How could someone write something that terrible in such a... You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. So that's why he did... Wait, did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! Huh? Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. Ah... <sighs> You mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Ugh. So that's it! No, that's not it either! If that's the case, in any case... Whoa! There's so much synth here! And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain... Mixing in progress. Whoa! There's even fruit flavored synth? Yep, it's soup. What's all this? Pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box! Oh, Paimon sees it too, but... Huh? You mean the girls from the series? And then... They were turned... And all the boxes of things... These names...
Well, since you asked so nicely. Right now, right here, emerge! Water level is rising! Now we can swim to the top! But this is still a ways away from where we need to go. <sighs> right now! Emerge! Right now! Feeling lucky? Umbrella warfare, I guess. Right now, emerge, right here. Coming at ya! Coming at ya! I guess I'm a going home. Huh? Emerge, right now, emerge. Wind, hear me! Yeah. 
Oh, as expected, the master. Ah, that's right. What's all this? Pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box. Oh, Paimon sees it too, but... Huh? You mean the girls from the series and then... They were turned all the boxes of things. These names. What's written here? Hmm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to. Hmm. Hmm. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Hmm. We still have not. The old dog's a real man. He can act whenever he wants. I concur. Let's send some. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher ups. Where they make all the sand. If you dilute it with normal water, Paima will take notes of. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place. Experiment number six. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Females? <laughs> Sorry, traveler. Paimon will try her best. It's how could someone write something that terrible in such a... You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. So that's why... Wait, did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane. Huh? Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought... He was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. Ah, <sighs> you mean Vache is the one who did all of these? Ugh. So that's it. No, that's not it either. If that's the case, in any case. Here. And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the hmm. Mixing in progress. Red Whoa! There's even fruit flavored sin? Yep, it's We've looked at almost everything here. Yeah. We haven't found anything that reveals it. No wonder even Nervalet wasn't able to fuck that way, even if we bring all this back to the opera. Sure thing. Vashay's lover's name? Then... Aww... It's just... So many! 
the final name, Marcel. Wait, but Marcel. And whose image do you, is it a man named Vache? Huh. Oh, so you I've me I was waiting. Nadia! We're back! Uh, as expected of my Just how often do you intend to flout? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence. But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. Huh? We've investigated your lair a week after your lover, Veneer, was dissolved. You kept abducting young women to experiment. You even created Marcel as a new identity. And so that's it. Even the... V and with that, Marcel's motive... This information regarding your past also dismantles your... Well, Marcel... Do you know where you... Uh. You fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away. Instead of paying it so, you never noticed how we changed... You also never understood Boss's real expectation. For our determination to see... Your determination... <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Do you think... Do you... Pay attention to you? <laughs> what for? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, they said there's no way a human... Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, you only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate... Then year is dead! We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she go... But I'm not from this blasted place! So I... I can't dissolve! Can't do, do you all see? I can't go! I I did all of that. And in the end, I spent my entire life. The suspect is exhibiting. Don't touch me! Then yeah, please. At this point, the verdict of fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a traveler, please submit all the evidence. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea and was dissolved in front of Vache as a result. Vache learned of the Primordial Water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research. With the goal of discovering a method to cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate during the course of his research Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the Primordial Sea can endure. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and exp after exchanging blows with Spina du Rasula for many years, but although the assassination did not go as Vache expected, he was a- And just recently, Vache attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the sea. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the Primordial Sea became public knowledge. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the- the Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict for... According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse, guilty. Guards! Take the shade. Good. It's what he- uh, With that, the serial did- We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the truth- Yippee! We have- He's hurt so many innocent people- Huh? Are you okay? <sighs> Demoiselle, you were absolute- A day our late boss had always hoped for- Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> See, Papa? Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, Justice has been served, past wrong. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still- Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Uh, what now? According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against- Oh, come on. 
Is this really necessary? Please respect the laws of- All right, all right, but- th Through evidence presented in the public trial that was- The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is- We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse- Hmm. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique- Guilty. What? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you- What's with this verdict? Is your- Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice- I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui- But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what- The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is- By guards, please take the sus- So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Hey, Monsieur Nouvellette, what's going on? Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, all I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Uh, wh why are you looking at me? I had no- I- I don't know what happened there either! What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either? But yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this re- <clears throat> My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out? Don't tell me. You thought even I- But the way she looked just now, it was pretty- However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything and <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, everything he's done, not to men, all shall be revealed in time. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, so she chose to make her escape after all, did she? Uh, so you're saying we shouldn't put much stuff? Hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a... All right. Even though we've... After all, he's done... Oh, Monsieur Nervalette! That power you showed when you took him down. Hmm? I'm the Chief Justice of Fontaine, of course. If... What are you doing? Quick, stop him! Traveler! Hey! Traveler! Ah, Marcel! What are you doing? Stop resisting arrest! See- No, 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 wait! I, I just want to ask the Traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. 
Go on. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear? I erased all records of that name. Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been... Uh, really? Y you did? You are sure? The Fountain of Lucene? Then... Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killer... Hey! Hey, Grease! This request... Is it worth it? Of course! Wait, no. It's worth... Humans... Well, they be... Very well. Your Honor, I will go with him. You do not need to... <sighs> In that... Thank you! Thank you! Is this the place? You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Vashe. Ah! Yes, that's it! So you heard it too- Vinier, it's me! Vashe. I'm here, I'm here! Where are you? Hey, wait! Be careful- is that you? Vashe. Why did you come? You... You look a lot older than I remember. It's been more than 20 years. I've suffered all this time. Only the thought of bringing you... Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the... Vinier, you are my everything. I really don't know how I... But Vache, if you ask me... If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top tier. If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermondia. If not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. And it's all because of your selfishness, Vache. It's all. You. Wait, you are not Vignier. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignier. I am... the sacrifices. Every woman who died by your hand. As our bodies dissolved, our consciousnesses flow, our thoughts circulated endlessly within the primordial sea. And we were no longer individuals. But we became one. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm AZ. The only one I am not. Is Vinya. Why? But then. Where? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Every tendril of her consciousness is avoiding you. This is what you get for your selfishness. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? I. Um. I. You are a liar. A heart the only thing you are not is Vin from the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged with Vinier's, she has had No Vinier You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vinier. But on top of that. She also said that because it's her. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no Vache. Vache? 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 Drown. We have 
have some time to do shopping. Gosh, it's really been a long time since we... Oh, well met, partner. I knew something great was... Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle. It's a pleasure to see you both again. Oh, hey, Namia! Oh, now that I believe. I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. <sighs> it's just been one thing after the other. I've been making non-stop trips. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. When this time, though, everyone in Puss... <sighs> so his name's definitely been... It's been the dearest wish of the most... <laughs> <laughs> that blasted stubborn... Oh, by the way, I ran into... Sh uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I... Huh? So you know Charlotte, too? Yeah. Way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was... All I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness. To be fair, though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> she was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece. Oh, yeah. She told us about that. She's... A anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical... <laughs> Now that's another thing to look for. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clorand out for a meal. Oh, are you two on better? Mm, while you were investigating Vache's head, it was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. Oh, that's great. Pina anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, perhaps it will slowly. Oh, actually, there's still one last thing I. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave. And, and on top of that. Miss Navia. Indeed. Mm -hmm. We want a good sure thing. I'd love And in that case, every Yeah, you're right. Huh. This huh? There's someone there already. Wait. That figure hmm? Isn't that Nervalette? Why would the Chief Justice be here? Huh? Navia? Hmm. My apologies. I should have asked. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, I wanted to show my father how much I've grown, but still. In that case, I will stop. Hmm. You, in any case. Hmm. Well, ever since that, there was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more. Im oh, rather than that. It's pr Which is also why I didn't stop your father. I believed that a truly innocent man would- But Mr. Callus proved me up, if not for his sacrifice. Mr. Callus made the choice he did for it, and in the end, from a certain- A justice that's higher than- So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies. This regret has filled me with a sa- That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula. Thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Uh, I'm so you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? Sorry about that. <sighs> Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? Ah, so Navia and the Let's not disturb them for now. <sighs> Paimon's never. Huh? Oh, oh no! Anyway, Nervalette is still standing around there. Oh, it's you two. Mm hmm. We ran into now. I see. I see. Uh. I Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine, and it would be my pleasure. So, at court, the bad guys referred to that spe- Truthfully, that name is already quite accurate. I can only surmise that Vache and- There used to be a special sea on the surface of this planet. The nature of its seawater with most of Tevat's life forms were first born in that special- Huh. So it really was where everything... But today, the Primordial Sea no longer exists. What Vashe discovered must have been some kind of special... Huh. So that's how it is. Indeed. Why would the Primordial Sea 
which was known to engender and nurture life. Suddenly, to be frank, that also doesn't match my understanding of this world and its laws. There must be... Is there anything else? That the sea levels will rise and everyone will be dissolved in water, leaving Farina crying alone. Does that appropriately summarize the version you've heard? That's right! Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice. Rumors have it that this prophecy is rooted in the last words the former Hydro Archon left to the- A prophecy? Of the former Hydro Archon? Two parts of the prophecy have already proven correct. The rising sea levels and the ability of the people of Fon- Speaking of the prophecy, Farina has also always taken it quite seriously. Indeed, if the rumors were true, then perhaps this prophecy- But with Farina being the way she is- can we really Is there anything else you'd like? My apologies. My investigate. However, I still believe that- <gasps> But you- For many years, I have been quite aware that the Oratrice does not simply mechanically repeat as a divinely created mechanism. The people's unified faith in the concept of- Not only can it produce the incredible power of indemnitium, but it likely also- Which is all to say, I have been prepared for a situation. <gasps> So when Linny told us that he heard a human voice from the room where the oratory- I was not aware such a thing had occurred. Perhaps that could serve to prove my con- In any case, I am inclined to believe that the oratory does have a methodology all its own. Based on Farina's reaction, I doubt even she had any idea what was going on. She managed to bluff her way through it. While we do intend to get to the bottom of this, for now, we regret to say- If we did incorrectly convict him of crimes he did not commit, we will mo- If you ask Paimon, the only compensation he'll want is a- Is there anything else you- Your sibling. Another blonde-haired traveler. If he ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure he follow- Is there anything else? Very well. It was my honor. It will soon be time for me to leave this blissful tranquility be- You! Super busy, Monsieur. Crime and villainy do not have the day off. And so just. Alright, alright. Huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. <sighs> you know, we've been walking around for a while now. Why don't we go back to the Spina di Rosuma base in the court of Fontaine and have a rest? <laughs>
Here, right now, right here.
Oh, what a stroke of good luck.
now. Right here. Right now.
My time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. Want me to come along? Let the wind lead. Right here, right now, emerge! Right now, emerge!
pleasant surprise.
right now, right here. Let's pack it up.
fellow warfare, I guess. A proper send-off from the scene of the club. Ha! Coming at ya! Quick, let's pack it up. Let's pack it up.
tomatoes. Guide us. Right now, emerge.
right now. Emerge. Right now, emerge, right here.
Let's pack it up. Yep, there's the room, and it's empty and waiting for us. Hmm, now that why don't we stay and rest up here for a while? Oh, come on, this looks cool. Oh, remember that detective story poem I read before? me but do you know if the traveler huh Who? a blonde traveler hey what do you mean by it's an honor to meet you both nivellet he wants to see us again already i am not privy to the mm, if you <sighs> now that i've done thanks we haven't left the room for a few days 